Hey YouTube, Steam and Swish. Uh, welcome to my very first video game finds video. Uh, before I get started, I want to apologize for not getting this video up as soon as I planned. Um, for a couple weeks, I didn't really get to go out game hunting or anything like that. So, I didn't get my video up as soon as I wanted to. But, I think you won't be disappointed in this one because I have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first up, I got a bunch of NES games. Well, I have to do them in increments here because there's quite a few of them. Uh, these were all two bucks each, and I got them at my local game store. Uh, they're mostly just filler titles, so they're not really exciting or anything like that. So, let's get started. First one is Rollerball. Next one is the Mofat Conspiracy. Track and Field 2. Junior Edition of Jeopardy. Vegas Dream. Demon Sword. Um, Cycross, I think, is what that one is. Some of these titles are kind of wacky, so bear with me here. Right, there's the first set of them. And then I got Othello. Bandai Golf. Remote Control. Mission Impossible. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Win, Lose, or Draw. Airwolf. Dino Wars. Section Z. Alpha Mission. Star Soldier. Mag Max. Destination Earth Star. Jeopardy. Just the regular edition. Kung Fu Heroes. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. The Karate Kid. Rescue. Solstice. Karate Champ. Solar Jetman, Gotcha, and Ski or Die. And these are all the NES games I got from my local game store. And I believe there's 30 of them. And they were all $2 each. Next I'll show you all the Super Nintendo games I got from my local game store. There's not a whole lot here. Super Battle Tanks 2. Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. Oh, this one I got on eBay actually. This wasn't a deal. I'll show you in a little bit. This one's NCAA Basketball. Nothing too exciting. 
Um, Tommy Moe's Winter Extreme. Cliffhanger. And Road Riot Four Wheel Drive. And all these except for NCAA Basketball, I got my local game store, and those were $2 each as well. Uh, next I will show you all the Nintendo 64 games I got from that same game store. Uh, Armor Marines. Forsaken 64. Mission Impossible. F1 World Grand Prix. Automobili Lamborghini. This one's a fun one, by the way. I love racing games, so that's one of my favorite racing ones. Uh, F1 Pole Position 64. Hey You Pikachu. And Disney's A Bug's Life. And that is all the N64 games from the game store. And those were $2 as well. So every game I got from the local game store was 2 bucks a piece. So uh, next I will show you all my PS1 games from the game store. This is all over the course of a couple trips. I didn't get these all in one day. Got these a couple times going to the game store. Alright, PS1. Here you go. The first one is the Italian job. Next one is Shrek Treasure Hunt. These are all complete, by the way. These all have their manuals, and the discs are pretty good. Cyber Tiger. The very first Hot Shots Golf. I love Hot Shots Golf. They're fun games. Mine, personally, is the fourth one on PS2, but I'm trying to go for them all, so... Stuart Little 2. Uh, Big Bass World Championship. Big Air. A lot of these are just mainly filler titles, so nothing too great, but some I might consider playing. Billiards. Cabela's Big Game Hunter Ultimate Challenge. Grudge Warriors. This one's funny. Austin Powers Pinball. It has, um, I think it has Austin Powers, um, International Man of Mystery. It's one of them. And then the other one is The Spy Who Shagged Me. So the first two Austin Powers movies based pinball games. So that one's pretty fun. 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. Men in Black, the series, Crash Down. Army Men, Air Attack. And last but not least is Bowling. And I'm pretty sure that covers all the games I got from the game store. And all those were two dollars each. So, and next I'm going to show you real quick. The game store also sells movies. I know it's not really game related, but it's close to Halloween, and me and my brother love scare movies. So we decided to pick up a few, and these were uh, three dollars each. So let's just start with these. First one is Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven: The New Blood. I love Friday the Thirteenth and Halloween and. Nightmare on Elm Street and all that, so we got some pretty good lineups here. Halloween by Rob Zombie. This is the newer one. It's a pretty good one. I, I kind of like the original better, but it was there, so. Uh, this one I actually got from my local pawn shop, Mr. Money. Uh, if you've heard of it, it's a pretty common chain of pawn shops, but I got this from Mr. Money Pawn Shop, and... This, believe it or not, was two bucks, and it's a four-pack. It has all four Tremors movies, 
and all discs are here, so I thought that was pretty cool. I picked that one up not too long ago, about a week ago, I think, and I love Tremors, so that was a good pickup. That wasn't from the game store, that was from Mr. Money, so decided to put all the movies together at once, I guess. Uh, next one is A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. I love all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, so this was a pretty good pickup. They had almost all of them at the game store. I'm just missing a couple of them. A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And that is all of the movies from the game store. And those were $3 each, so that was a really good deal. Um, next I will show you something else I received from the uh, game store really quick. And this is an NES Advantage. And the box is pretty worn, but it was a really good deal. It was 13 bucks for the box and the controller in there. So the controller is in there, and the styrofoam is just missing the manuals. But I'll pretty much I'll find the manuals one day. So not nothing too big, but um, yeah, the box is pretty worn out. So I think that's probably why it was pretty cheap, and it's missing the manuals, but. This I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has the um, the original Target sticker on there from when it was uh, released. So it says $39.99 on it from Target, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I'll open it up real quick, show you guys. The styrofoam is a little destroyed, but that doesn't really bother me as much. It's kind of kind of in chunks here. It's missing half of the styrofoam that lays on top, but here's the controller. It's in pretty good condition. Um, everything works. I already tested it, so this one I'll be keeping for my collection as well as everything else I've shown you. Nothing, everything I've shown you so far I've been I'm keeping for my collection. So, yeah, I've had a huge addition to my collection so far, so, alright, next I will show you a Craigslist deal I did, and this is pretty cool, I love what I did here for on Craigslist, this was uh, about three weeks ago I got this, and it is an original Nintendo, but I also got a stack of games here with it. I'm trying to keep it all together here, but I'll show you in a second. But um, the only thing here is the Nintendo didn't come with the uh, TV hookup. Or, yeah, it didn't come up with the TV hookup, but it came with this third-party um, power adapter. I'm probably going to end up selling this or something, because I usually don't keep third-party brand uh, items or accessories. So, so the NES does work. I hooked it up. And it works really well. And it did come with a controller, but unfortunately the controller was not salvageable. It did not work, so I um, I kind of put it in my broken controller's bin. So maybe I'll find use for it later on or something. But yeah, here's the console. It's really clean actually. There's no yellowing on it or anything. And I think this is one of the newer releases of it because it has a newer Nintendo sticker on it for uh, services and stuff so I haven't, I haven't seen one with the red sticker on the bottom before but yeah, it's pretty clean just your typical Nintendo NES so that's the console next I will show you the games there are games I am keeping out of it and there's games I am selling so first off I'll show you the stack of games that I am selling this was thrown in as well for free it's a Nintendo 64 game but um, it's kind of beat up, so I'm not going to really keep it, but it's uh, Bass Hunter 64, so it was tossed in with it, so I didn't really 
wasn't expecting it, but it wasn't really worth it, so I didn't keep it. I'm not going to keep it. Um, first NES game I'm selling is Contra. Next one is Castlevania. I already own these games, so that's why I'm going to sell them. Mega Man 3. And Yoshi. Alright, and now I'll show you the stack of games that I will be keeping. First one is Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Jurassic Park. X-Men. California Games. And Tenjin RBI Baseball. So now I have two unlicensed NES games for my collection. And that is it from that Craigslist deal. And total I paid for that was $50 for everything. And I believe I can make my money back, from, or almost make my money back from uh, Contra, Castlevania, Mega Man 3, and Yoshi. Those four games alone I can probably sell for um, close to 40 maybe. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'll have to look it up again later and make sure. But, yeah, I'm going to keep the NES. I'll have to find cords and stuff for it, of course. But um, I'll keep all the games I showed you for my stack that I'm keeping and then the console and everything else. So, next I will show you a couple manuals I got off eBay. And this is for my boxed NES action set that I have with the gun and everything. So, first up, I've got... The Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cartridge manual, and it's uh, really good condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There's a couple little tears in the corners and all that, but nothing too major. Um, everything's here. There's no pages torn out or anything, so it's a um, it's really clean. I think I paid like three bucks for it. That might seem a little high for a manual like this, but it's in really good condition. So that's gonna go in the boxed system. And then I got the gray uh, zapper manual. Uh, I had an orange one, but it didn't really fit the box because the gun is gray. So I kept. I uh, went on eBay and I found a uh, a gray one. This one was four bucks, I think. But I kind of really wanted it just so I could complete my boxed NES action set. So now everything is complete in my uh, boxed NES action set. Next, um, another deal off of eBay, really quick. I have a boxed PS1, the fat one, and it has no manuals. So for, I think this was five bucks for everything, I got all PS1 manuals for my box system. And it has the original baggie, and everything is here. I've got all the advertisements and the manuals and everything for the console and everything that was originally packaged with it. Um, they got the original mail-in orders and everything else, so everything here is complete. So now I have my PS1 box complete. So that was a really good find. That was the only one on eBay I could find that was really cheap. I was the only one that bid on it. It was 99 cents plus $4 shipping. So 5 bucks was, I think it was a pretty good deal for all the manuals. Uh, next on my list here, I got a, um, I went to Mr. Money a different time. And I wasn't really expecting to find this, but uh, it was $5. It's really crazy. It was $5. And I got a Sony Slim PS2, the black one. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It was marked as broken as is, which is very weird because I took, it, I took a chance on it. I bought it for $5, and it came with... The AV cable and an official Sony brand controller. And the power cord it came with was a Sony brand power cord, but it was a 5 volt power cord. And Sony uh, or the Slims need an 8.5 volt power cord. And so I thought that was kind of weird at first, so that's why I was thinking it was broken. So I took it home. I had an extra. Uh, slim power cord that's made for them and I uh, hooked it up and it worked great it worked like a brand new one so just to keep in mind if you're going out looking for consoles and they say they're broken 
always look and see the physical condition of the console. This one I knew was pro there was probably nothing wrong with it just because of how it looks. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There's no abuse to it whatsoever. The original stickers on it from so no one ever opened it or anything like that. So the original warranty stickers on it. So I knew this was there was nothing really wrong with it, but I just went back there a couple days ago and I looked there they had another broken one, but this one was physically beat up and destroyed. So I knew that one was for sure not going to work. So I didn't even bother with that one. So just an FYI, just if you're looking for a console or something just to you know pick up for cheap or something, if it says it's broken, they could have easily made a mistake or something like that, or they never really tested it and it just looks broken to them or something. Um, if it's cheap enough, I'd say go ahead and take a chance on it because even not, sometimes broken con consoles can sell for quite a bit of money. I mean like 20 bucks maybe, I don't know. But this one works fully, so that's, I was really happy to find that at my local Mr. Money. And here's the power cord. I had. I have four of these, so I had an extra one to put with it, so everything's complete there. Next, I will show you another deal I did at my games, local game store. And this was an okay deal. Um... Their controllers are pretty expensive, but not too bad, I guess. Um, especially N64, those can get pricey sometimes. But I got a banana yellow Nintendo 64 controller. It's not the Donkey Kong 64 one, it's just the regular yellow one. But um, I paid 15 for this. But the joystick is really, really good. Really good um, recoil there. So. I decided to pick it up because I, I haven't gotten a yellow one yet, so I decided to I wanted to take this one home with me. So when I was there a few weeks ago, I picked up the yellow one for 15 bucks. So not a bad deal, especially for the condition of the joystick. So um, also while I was there, um, I decided to pick up two Mario plushes, uh, Super Mario and Super Luigi. Uh, these were these guys were six bucks each. They're just they're soft, you know, plush toys. Um, I think that was an okay deal. Six bucks. They're they're not too long. I mean, I mean that's maybe like seven or eight inches tall. But they're really cool. I like. They have uh, Yoshi's and Toads and everything else too. So I might have to go back and get some more uh, plush toys sooner or later. So, but yeah, these these two guys are really cool. I decided to keep those guys. I decided to pick them up for my collection display guys. So that's pretty cool. Um. Next, I will show you another eBay find. This was a really, really, really good deal. I got this off eBay, I want to say about a month ago. And I kept it in the box just so it wouldn't get all gross or anything. But I paid $14.50 after shipping. And it came from a pawn shop in California or something, I think. But they, uh, you know, they sell a lot of stuff on eBay, so I happened to come across it. And it wasn't named what it normally is called, so I think that's how a whole lot of people never found it. I just came across it by typing in um, N64 controllers. It is an N64 controller, but uh, this one is very, very cool. I got a Smoke Clear Gray Nintendo 64 controller. It's a Nintendo brand one. It's not the Atomic Purple, it's the official Smoke Clear Gray one. And I really wanted one of these because now every... I have all six Fantastic Series consoles, they each have a controller now that matches. So now um, I'm going to work up trying to find, uh, you know, multiple controllers for each system now. So, But at least each console has at least one matching controller. So, and uh, the joystick's actually alright, I guess. It's... Um, I'd probably consider it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a little loose, but it's still really good recoil. So, so I was really happy to get this, especially for the price, 14.50. And a lot of them usually go for like 30 bucks. It's pretty crazy, but uh, I'm really glad I picked that up. Next, I got another deal. This was a different deal at my game store. Uh, this was a small pickup. It wasn't too much, but these were uh, two bucks each. Uh, they're th both, all three of them are PlayStation 3 games. Uh, Ghost Recon 2. Call of Duty Finest Hour. And last but not least, I already have this game, 
but this is a this is a case variant. Uh, it's ATV Off-Road Fury 2, but it's the uh, not for resale copy. So now I have the regular copy and the not for resale copy. So I was really happy to find this at the game store. And the disc matches. Everything in here matches. The manual matches. Everything is complete. So I was really happy to find this. So that is... I think that is it from my local game store. I do have another eBay find. And this was really, really good. Um, you guys will think this is pretty crazy, but I'm not lying at all. This is... I was even shocked when I found it. Uh, I don't know if they knew what they had or if it was a mistake or, but, I um, I picked up a Super Nintendo Mini, which is really cool. It um, it didn't come with any cords, unfortunately. It was an untested thing, untested console, but I decided to take a chance on it because a lot of the times these are. Um, I've only seen a couple broken ones, but most of the time they're working, so I decided to take a chance on it. And it came with two games. It came with NCAA Basketball that I showed you earlier. And it also came out with Tiny Toon Adventure Buster Bus Loose. But I already own this one, so I'm going to be selling this game. But the cool thing about this console was, even though it was a console only, but this console with the two games was only $19.99 with free shipping. And... They were originally asking 30 but then I, I watched their listing for a little while, and no one would buy it for some reason. I don't know if they thought it was broken or they didn't see it on there, but after a few days, it went down to $24.99. And then I asked uh, people if they would go down any lower, I asked them if they would, um, what was their best price, and they said, $19.99, I'll sell it today, and I said, I'll take it. So I bought it for $19.99 for console and two games and it was free shipping and it turned out to be amazing it works perfectly like it should and there's there's no flaws with it whatsoever it's really clean there's no yellow on it or anything there's a couple little surface scratches but that's pretty common but uh... i had both cords already i have multiple power bricks and stuff for the super nintendo so i have the official nintendo super pow uh, power brick for the super nintendo and i also have the uh, official nintendo av cords so that is really helpful that really I'm glad it worked out and it was just an amazing deal um, last but not least I have one last Craigslist deal to show you guys and this I picked up just yesterday and it's gonna be kinda hard to show some of this stuff cause it's some big items but it's uh, PS2 stuff and a console, and I'll tell you how much I paid here in a minute. But first thing to show you here is a official Guitar Hero guitar. It works. It's pretty clean. There's, the stickers are starting to rub off and stuff, but other than that, it works really well. And I did get two of these. The other one is, whoops, the other one is the red one. But these are both official Guitar Hero guitars. They're the they're cord. They're not wireless. They're the corded ones. So, but that's alright, because if they were like the wireless ones, they could have been missing the adapters or whatever. So I didn't, I didn't mind it. The corded ones are easier to, you know, keep track of and stuff, so that's not, nothing bad. Uh, next I'll show you the uh, stack of games that came with this deal. If I can get them over here. Alright, first to show you is, um, this uh, lock came with PS1 games as well. But, uh, first one is Medal of Honor Underground. I am not keeping any of these PS1 games because they're, they're all greatest hits, and I don't keep greatest hits copies of the game or anything like that, so. Uh, the next one is Tekken 2. This one, unfortunately, I wish it would have been a regular copy, but unfortunately it's a greatest hits, and that is the very first Twisted Metal. I love Twisted Metal games, but... Unfortunately, this one's a greatest hit, so I don't really want to keep it. Uh, but I did test all these games. They all work. They're kind of scratched, but I'm not going to worry about it. They work fine. So Next one's Jet Moto. And this one is Rayman. The first, the very first one. So They're all greatest hits, so I was very disappointed when I found that out. But it's alright. I'm going to... I'll eventually find them black label, so... 
Alright, PS2 games. These are the ones I will be keeping. There's four of them here. They're all complete, and they all are black label, so... Guitar Hero Encore rocks the 80s. Some of these games are scratched a little bit, but they're not too bad. Uh, Shrek Super Slam. It's kind of like a fighting game. It's uh, I don't know if you want to call it like a Mortal Kombat or whatever. I don't know. It's not that, not like that kind of, but it's a fighting game. Uh, SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs Combined Assault. Sorry for that interruption, guys. The uh, battery on my camera died, so I had to replace the batteries, but uh, bear with me there. Um, what I was saying is uh, SOCOM... Uh, U.S. Navy SEAL is a combined assault. This one is like brand new. And then SOCOM 3, which is the last one of the PS2 games I'm keeping out of this deal. Uh, SOCOM 3 U.S. Navy SEALs. This one's brand new as well, pretty much. Like, very minimal play on them. So, those are definitely cool. Those are a great deal on those. Um, unfortunately, I did get some games that are not even worth trying to play. They are so scratched that... It looks like someone took them to like the concrete and just like started rubbing them on the ground like a like sandpaper or something. It's so horrible. If I could show you like the exact um, details as if it was in first person, you'd be sick. It, it's horrible how some of these games are treated, but I I can't keep them because they're not worth it enough to to me. They're not worth it enough to fix them. They're like at the local game store I have in my town. They're like two bucks to just fix it and some of them are like two dollar games anyway and they don't even have their cases or anything um, most of them don't anyway but it's just sad to see what happens to some of these games it's it's really upsetting but Guitar Hero 2 it's the disc is really scratched it's not even worth showing it's it's sad it's an uh, Unreal Tournament the case looks like it's been you know bitten at by a dog or something it's all chewed up um, then I have this stack of PS1 games, there's like eight of them here, but I'm not going to show you them all, but there's like Driver 2 on here, that's just Disc 2, Disc 1's not even here, or, um, but yeah, there's, they're not expensive games, but just sad what happened to them, because they're just so scratched, and there's no way they're going to play, I'm afraid to even put them in my console, because they might ruin it or something, I don't know, I, I don't even want to risk it, and then I got... A Medal of Honor, just it's just the case. There's no game in there, so I just got the case, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to just pitch these games, but I don't really want to because I, I feel kind of bad for doing it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so I'm just going to hang on to them for now, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But uh, Last but not least in this Craigslist deal uh, came a fat Sony PS2. Um... The only thing wrong with it is the uh, cover for the disk drive is missing. As you can see there, the entire front thing was like torn off. So that's the only flaw that I see with this console. It was really dirty on top. I mean, like, it looked like someone had spilt juice on it or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell when you get it from someone. It just, the story, how it goes, I don't know if, if stuff could tell stories, you know, it'd be. There'd be so much to hear, but I don't know. This is it works fine, and came with a 16 megabyte memory card. But I'm not keeping it or the system. I already have a fat PS2, so but I don't, I don't, I don't keep memory cards that are uh, off-brand. I usually just keep Sony ones. So I'll se I'll be selling the console. And it also came with um, one official Sony PS2 controller, but I'm gonna find one of my controllers from my collection to put in with it just to you know sell it a little bit quicker some people like two controllers with their systems on ebay or something so I'll put another controller with the system but uh, it came with the official sony AV cord here and the official sony uh, power cord so everything that I showed you the games the PS2 games from this Craigslist deal and the console I paid 30 bucks in total and I thought it was a really good deal but until I found out most of the games were really bad scratched but I'm thinking I can sell like uh, metal or uh, twisted metal and uh, Tekken and Rayman and stuff that will probably cover most of the cost so I'm hoping to make a little bit of money and then gain some as well with this deal but 
it's unfortunate for the games that were scratched, but it's all right. It'll I can pay for it somehow. But um, real quick here, this is the very last thing I have to show you guys. Um, it was my birthday a couple of days ago on October 23rd, and my mom decided to buy me a couple of cool little things really quick. She bought me a, um, these were candy containers. I already ate the candies, but uh, I, I'll keep the containers. They're really cool. It's a collector um, Mario container here, the Mario figurine standing on top, and it's a, it's like a little barrel, and it had a bunch of little candies in it, and they were, they were pretty good. <laughs> and then in uh, this metal tin Mario, was a um, they were brick breaking jaw breaker candies so they were kind of like mints a little bit but um, yeah I thought these were pretty cool so I decided to keep these these are really cool so but um, yeah that is it guys that is all the stuff I have to show you for this pickup video uh, I'm sorry it took so long but uh, hopefully it was worth your while seeing all the stuff I had for you today um, hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe like the video if you liked it uh, comment if you saw anything specific that you really liked the most. Um, like I said, I um, sorry again for the wait, but it's here now. So thank you guys uh, for watching, and I'll see you guys later.